Hi there, Sammy's Grade 3 students! It's me again, Teacher Sally! I hope all the students in Grade 3 Peace and Grade 3 Patience will view this video. Here is our topic for today's video. Go get your book and open on pages 320 to 325 because your book is the main reference in this topic. Pay attention on the objectives in your screen. For your additional references, watch the following YouTube videos and log in in your Pearson Realize for the assigned activities. Are you ready, girls? In the previous videos, we talked about scientists. What questions scientists ask and how scientists answer questions. In this video, we will be talking about tools. How scientists use tools and stay safe. Let's proceed. What do you think are these objects? In the field of science, we call it tools. Tools are any objects used to do work. Tools can help to measure volume, temperature, length, distance, and mass. Tools can help collect and record data. Let us identify the tools for measuring and observing. The unit of measure is the quantity used to measure something. Here are the examples of measuring and observing tools. We have graduated cylinder ruler and meter stick, thermometer, balance, clock and stopwatch, hand lens or magnifying glass, and microscope. We use these tools to measure and observe. Now let me introduce to you each tool. First is the graduated cylinder. Graduated cylinder can be used to measure volume or amount of space an object take place. Volume is measured in milliliters or ml. Did you hear that sound? What do you think is that? If you said clock, you are correct. Clock and stopwatch are used to measure time. To measure how low and high temperature is, we use thermometer. Thermometer is marked in degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists usually record data in degrees Celsius. Scientists use ruler and meter stick. Ruler and meter stick are used to measure length and distance in meter and centimeter. Balance used to measure the mass of an object in grams. In investigating, we usually see this. Hand lens is used to enlarge object. It does not enlarge object as much as a microscope does, but it is easy to carry though. Look at this. It's a microscope. Microscope use several lenses to make object appear larger. Microscope shows more details. 
Now, let's recap. What are the tools for measuring and observing again? Graduated cylinder. Clock and stopwatch. Thermometer. Ruler and meter stick. Balance. Hand lens. And microscope. Can you say it by yourself? Very good, girls! Since you already know the tools that can be used in measuring and observing things, you need to be careful when using this or doing other scientific activities. Below are the list of safety rules to remember. Listen to your teacher's instruction. Read each activity carefully. Never taste or smell materials unless your teacher tells you to. Wear safety goggles, gloves, and tie your hair back when needed. Handle scissors and other equipment carefully. Keep your workplace neat and clean. Clean up spills immediately. Tell your teacher immediately about accidents or if you see something that looks unsafe. Wash your hands well after every activity. Return all materials to their proper places. Remember, investigate safely. For your activity in this lesson, in your notebook, write the following words. Observe correct spelling in writing the words. Ready? Here are the list. Repeat after me. Tool. Unit. Measure. Observe. Safety. Again. Tool. Unit. Measure. Observe. Safety. Remember, I'll be checking your notebook when we come back in school. So, right, right, right. In the description area of this video, Click the links about measuring tools and measurement song. These songs will help you remember our topic today. Enjoy watching! I hope this video will help you to answer your assigned task in your person account. Goodbye everyone and see you in the next video! Don't forget to check and log in in your person account to answer your assigned activities. And don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Thanks for watching! Here are the list of students who completed the assigned tasks in Pearson Realize. From grade 3 piece, Good job, Arwa Same, Judy Ahmed, Kadi Sulaiman, Lynn Babiker, Lynn Uwaid, Maimuna Zaman, Muna Adel. Good job also to Nada Islam, Retan Farid, Rufaida Abir, Sahar Mashaal, Sama Yasser, and Selena Hosam. Well done, girls!